Good morning children. Let's start a new lesson today. Water in our life. Do you know that water is one of the most abundant and important compound in the world? It is a major constituent of all living organisms. Some plants contain more percentage of water. The human body has about 65% of water. Neither plants, animals nor human beings can survive without water. Do you know children, what is the percentage of water on the earth? About 70% of earth's surface is covered with water and only 30% is covered with land. And the water on the land is present in different sources in different percentage. About 97% of water is present in oceans, 1% in rivers, lakes and groundwater and 2% of water is present in the glaciers. Though there are various sources of water and such a large quantity of water is present on earth's surface, all the water is not usable. The water which is present in the oceans is salty and cannot be used by us, neither can it be used for irrigating plants. That is, we cannot put this water in plants also. 2% of water that is present in the form of ice, that is glaciers, so only 1% which is present in lakes, ponds, rivers or wells and also streams is used by us which is called as fresh water. There are two main sources of fresh water. They are ground water and surface water. Ground water seeps through soil and cracks in rocks. This water is taken out by us by digging the wells or bore wells. Surface water flows over land, then collects in rivers, lakes, streams and reservoirs. Now what are the sources of fresh water? Rain water, ground water and ice shelves are the sources of fresh water. Rain water is a product of water evaporation and it is used for drinking and also to irrigate the crops. Ground water is the largest source of fresh water. It is also used for drinking. As I told you, we dig wells or bore wells, take out that water and use it for drinking. Then, the most of the water is present in ice shelves that only is used by us when it melts. These sources of water are refilled by due to water cycle. We all know what is water cycle, right? When water evaporates from the earth's surface, it goes up into upper layers of the atmosphere where it cond condenses and falls down as rain. This rain water replenishes all the sources of water. That is, it fills up the rivers, oceans, lakes and all. The next, the glaciers also meant due to change in temperature. These may, melting glaciers fill up the rivers and the rivers also flow to fill up the other sources of water like ground water will increase, streams, ponds and lakes will also get the water. So next part of the lesson we will continue tomorrow. Thank you.